Hi, Matthew Bauer here, currently the percussionist for Jessica Lynn. I would like to show you my rig rundown for this year's 2022 Lone Rider Tour. So for this year, I decided to go a little bit more back to my roots of acoustic percussion. I've been trying to recreate the sounds I want more uh, in a practical sense as opposed to digital. Now, that doesn't mean I'm cutting out all my electronics, as I still use the Roland Hansonic as my main source of uh, electronic percussion in my setup. But generally speaking, overall, all the sounds I want for this year's music are going to be produced and created acoustically. So right here to my left is this unique Timbali percussion setup. Now what I did, in, instead of buying a traditional timbali set, I went with the um, LP drum set timbalis. So what's cool about these is that they do mount uh, to the 3 8 inch rod. They have a mounting bracket on the side of these. Now the traditional timbalis are about 14, 15 inches. These are actually 13 and 12. Um, so a little bit smaller, not quite the timbalitos, um, kind of in, be in between the timbalito size, the small timbalis and traditional size. Um, I have gone with the tuning of a D on the low drum and an A on the high drum. Um, I still have to tweak these uh, a little bit, but they're generally in the ballpark of that tuning. Uh, and above, I have a, a Black Beauty Classic. LP cowbell to the left and a mambo bell. I love that deep dry sound from the mambo bell to the right. And above that I have the mounted LP Cyclops tambourine, which can be played either by hand or stick, mounted to uh, the three inch uh, rod. Everything is connected by the uh, long LP accessory bracket. And then on top here, I have a Roland BT-1 bar trigger. Now I have that running down to my KT-10 foot trigger pedal. And this pedal is connected to the Roland Hansonic HPD-20. So claps, snaps, uh, various other kick drum sounds, which I also have on the outside. There is an output for the sound and then a mix in. So basically I'm running the bar trigger to the mix in, which that means anything that's been programmed for the KT-10 will also trigger for here. Sometimes I want to keep my feet free and use sticks instead. Uh, this is meant to be played with uh, small sticks. Um, I will be using my timbale sticks, big foot timbale sticks, so I can just trigger those sounds from here. Uh, I also have a pair of LP castanets mounted on a 3 inch uh, L rod. Uh, there are a few moments where I do need some castanets, and I don't want to create them electronically, I want to create them acoustically. As far as cymbals go, I love my HHX 16-inch uh, Ozone. Such a wonderful, wonderful cymbal. Very trashy, but short. Um, enough to give quick little suspended rolls um, and punchy accents when needed. And then I just have an inverted um, Evolution 10-inch splash right off the piggyback on top of that. So in the middle of the setup, I have my LP Performer Series bongos. Uh, right now, they're an octave tuned um, apart. Uh, I believe right now it's tuned to F, pitch of F. Um, and obviously, you know, everything tuning-wise gets tweaked before the show. Um, and then to finish out the setup, I have, I do own three of the Performer Series Kongas. I'm just going to use two in my setup. The, uh, the Konga to my right and the Tumba to my left. 
and um, I do have a tuning of a perfect fifth because um, I wanted a little bit more range for having the two drum set up instead of the perfect four. You know, let your ear be the guide and use your own preference depending on the music. Um, and I have an A flat and an E flat. And that basically rounds out my percussion setup for this year's 2022 Lone Rider Tour with Jessica Lynn.